Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're gonna be working on this interesting viewer suggested trigonometric integral, so stay tuned. Okay, here's the question. The question is evaluate this integral from zero to infinity sine to the power of four x over x squared dx. First of all, let me call this integral as i1. And then I'll be starting with this integral, let me call this as i2 as integral from 0 to infinity of sine square of the x over x squared dx. Just to use the rational integral at the end, right? Okay, so about this, let me rewrite this integral i2 as integral from 0 to infinity. And since sine square x is 1 times sine square x, and then sine square x plus cosine square x is equal to 1. Let me just multiply it to this. So your integrand has to be just the same as parenthesis sine square of the x plus cosine square of the x. That times this, sine square of the x over x square dx. So that we can distribute the sine square x to those two terms inside of the parenthesis. Then your integral looks like integral from 0 to infinity of sine, sine to the power of 4, x plus sine square x times cosine square x over the same denominator, x now squared. And then we have dx. But the second term on your numerator, let me use this double angle formula, sine of 2x. And this is the same as 2 times sine of x times cosine of the x. So that's why sine square x times cosine square x, this has to be 1 over 4 times sine square of 2x. So your integral is now looking like integral from 0 to infinity still. And then sine to the power of 4x, and then plus 1 over 4 times sine square of 2x. That over, same denominator, x squared, we have dx then. Okay, then it looks like we can separate this integral into two integrals, right? So we'll be working on still this i2. So integral i2 has to be just the same as integral from 0 to infinity of sine to the power of 4x over x squared dx. This is i1 that we're looking for, right? And then plus pulling this 1 over 4 out of integral from 0 to infinity still of sine square of 2x over x squared, and then we have dx. Okay. Then let's talk about this i2, right? So about i2, that was just the same as integral from 0 to infinity of sine square of the x over x squared dx. Okay, then let's use integration by parts by calling u as sine square x. That means your dv should be 1 over x squared dx. Okay, then this integral i2, this is now looking like negative sine now square of the x over just the x from 0 to infinity minus integral of Okay, then negative 1 over x times derivative of the sine square x becomes sine of 2x, right? So it is the sine of 2x. Then we have dx, and then also that is from 0 to infinity. Noticing how this first term is going to 0. It is only about working on this integral, right? So negative, negative become positive. So you're working on integral from 0 to infinity of 1 over x times sine 2x dx. Now let's work on another substitution. Say, calling t as now 2x. That says your x is equal to um, t over 2. So that your dx is equal to 1 over 2 dt. Using all of this, your bounds do not change. So this integral is the same as integral from 0 to infinity still of sine of t that over 1 over 2 times t. Okay, then we have dx is 1 over 2 dt. So that's why we can cancel this 1 over 2 out. 
So cancel one over two out. This looks like integral from zero to infinity of sine of just a t over t dt. Famous Dirichlet integral that has the value of pi over two. So that is why let's work on this i2, right? So going back to this integral two in this expression, your i2, this turns out to be just a pi over two, the value of it, right? So this is now pi over two. That is just equal to this expression. First integral was just the i1 that we are looking for. This is i1. So this is the same as i1, and then plus the second integral, one over four times integral from zero to infinity of sine square of 2x over x square, and then we have dx. And then let's work on this integral. We can also make a substitution too. So let me call this at this time x as t over 2. That means your t is equal to uh, 2x, and your dt is equal to 2dx. Putting all of this together, so this whole expression is just going to be the same as then 1 over 4 times, 1 over 4 times 2 times 2, that is equal to 4. And at that times it's 1 over 2 times integral from 0 to infinity of now sine square t, and then over t square dt. We already know the value of this integral, right? So this integral is just the same as pi over 2. Okay, so based on all of this, this i1 that we're looking for, so we now have pi over 2. This is equal to i1 that we're looking for. Uh, now plus everything for this. So 4, 4 canceled out, 1 over 2 times pi over 2. So this whole thing is just a pi over 4. So that's what this i1 that we're looking for is going to be pi over 2 minus pi over 4, which is now pi over 4. So the answer for this question is pi over 4. It's a pretty interesting trigonometric integral using Dirichlet integral. How amazing.